wanted to go into like the time that you first kind of picked up a guitar. Um, was this from your father? You know, like, hey, here's a guitar. Did you like maybe ask him, hey, I want to play guitar? I started with cello. Because <laughs> they, I don't know, maybe they were thinking that, you know, it's good to have uh, perhaps, you know, classical training. So if, if he would, you know, uh, by the, if there would be a chance that he would get a proper job <laughs> someday playing in an orchestra, I don't know. Yeah, but I started with cello, and that's I, I still love cello. It's, it's a beautiful instrument. But I think very soon I started being more and more interested in guitar and other instruments as well. But we were we were never kind of. I, I never felt that I was pushed into any direction. I had a lot of uh, liberty and also responsibility in that, you know, to to find my own, you know, what ticks me. So uh, I, I got into guitar and then, uh, I, I mean, the guitars were just, they were just lying around all the time. So basically all my sisters and brothers as well, they just, you know, everybody learned guitar. And it's a, it's a very, you know, practical instrument. You can just, you know, kind of orchestrate a whole song with it. You can have all the harmonies, like piano, the travel piano. I want to go back to that Santa Ana show. And again, what shocked me when you walked out was, you know, I thought that you were kind of more of like a James Brown type singer, you know, like a R&B type singer where you just go out, the band plays, you know, you, maybe, you, maybe you, you dabble with the guitar here and there and, you know, but you let the band handle it. That's what I thought. That's, that's when I walked into that show, I thought that, there's no way Bobby Rose is coming over here and playing guitar the whole night. And you did, like, you played the whole night. You played, and it was like, wow. And you still put on a good show, which I think is very difficult when you're playing the guitar and still trying to, you know, put on the show for the folks. Cause it, it is very, it's very hard to like do that at the same time as control the crowd and still have to play the notes, you know what I mean? And you did that very well. Um, so how long now have you been playing? I mean, um, how many years has it been? I think I started like really uh, spending more and more time or, or like, you know, practicing technique and so on when, when I was maybe 12, something like that. But uh, yeah, but there's been these phases in my life, you know, I, I like started strong then. And then uh, I remember having a time when I really tuned into percussion instruments. So I would kind of, you know, the guitar would take a you know a back background uh, stance there, but uh, and also I started learning piano and uh, drums as well. And uh, now there's a little bit of a revival with my guitar playing. I've been spending a lot of time with guitar lately, so it's. Uh, but yeah, I started early on with all the instruments because they. I just you know, I also felt like maybe. Uh, I realized along the way that maybe my, you know, because there was, there's always the option of becoming an instrumentalist that you would kind of yeah, become, uh, you, you would just use your own instrument, whatever that might be, to express yourself. But uh, I was always very drawn to, to producing music, making songs, recording music, and working in the studio and with, with vari various instruments. So, yeah, but guitar always, uh, I mean, like, I know what you mean. I definitely know what you mean. Sometimes I felt like when we started playing shows with with this project, uh, I felt like I might, might not be playing guitar because uh, I wanted to kind of be, I mean, it's a diff different, you know, uh, I mean, even just physically, like you're somehow, if you don't have anything between you and the audience, it's more direct somehow. It's uh, you can use your body in different ways. You can dance around and you don't have to worry about the cable, you know, <laughs> always, always kind of tangling with your feet. So, uh, uh, yeah, I thought about that, but I might, you know, I might, there might be a situation where I just, uh, where I'm gonna put down the guitar and just sing or dance or something like that. Yeah, you gotta definitely incorporate those dance moves, man, because those dance moves <laughs> are magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I love, I mean, I mean, like, I, I love the whole, uh, like, Northern Soul dancing vibe, kind of this, uh, so that there's, and all I think it's the, with, with, it has to do with a lot of my work. I and mean, you know, like there's this line between cool and just, you know, bunkers, crazy, just, you know, like a weird. Uh, so, because I don't necessar necessarily see, you know, because it's, I know the vibe is, I mean, like it's, you have to have the sharp suit and the, you know, pomade infused hair and, uh, you know, the 60s vibe and James Bond and all that double or so thing. But, uh, but I also want to incorporate some very humane, just, you know, weird vibes or even awkward vibes into that. I kind of, that 
I, I wouldn't be able to maintain this uh, cool Bobby Rosa image, you know. It was it, that's just not me. I'm, you know, uh, kind of. No, it would be too much of work. I would, you know, <laughs> I want to also have this side. And uh, yeah, but dance, I mean, like uh, music for me is dancing as well. I've always enjoyed dancing and I'm kind of getting more and more into that and finding ways how to make just, you know, like a dance video. But I, I would maybe have to come over there and do it there or something, uh, you know, yeah. For one thing, like to be a guitar player and usually like just growing up with, you know, guitar players, usually people want to hide behind the guitar. You know, mm -hmm. they'll learn the guitar because they don't want to be the front man. So they'd rather yeah. be the guitarist. But yeah. was there a point in time where you're like, damn, like I could really sing, you know, like I, or I want to do both. Uh, was there a moment where you just realized like, yeah, I want to like sing? For me, the situation was always that my, my brother and my two sisters would sing uh, for like throughout my teenage years and until uh, you know until quite recently in a way so i was i would sing i would sing with you know i, I wasn't kind of just thinking about it that much i always i love listening to singers the singers that they would kind of and you know i was very sensitive to different tones and how people would have a uh, different kind of timbre in their sound in their voices and i mean the voice is still like the most personal instrument it's it's your yes it's your own tone it, it really is so i think i was just baffled with the you know the kind of possibilities and dangers of that as well i mean like there's uh you know it's a definitely there's uh, this side that you know i had to learn to uh, be open about my singing on, on stage because I, I I would just usually be behind an instrument, of course. But uh, uh, you know I would always sing backgrounds and stuff like that, so I was I was kind of familiar with my voice. But uh, it wasn't before uh, this love and this whole project. And I would also like record. I would I would always record demos and I would record record stuff that I would like think maybe that somebody else would sing, but I would you know just you know sketch out the the melody line with my own voice but uh yeah but the big change happened when i started working with cold diamond and mink and i'm kind of you know i'm still uh all the time but like that's how i feel like i'm just investigating this whole thing how i can be even more relaxed you know with, with just you know i mean relaxed i'm mentally pretty relaxed i guess i enjoy singing i enjoy you know uh singing with my own voice but also, I'm just, you know, I'm so curious about it. So it, it there are huge possibilities in that, how to kind of, like when you listen to somebody who sings, you know, it doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be technically anything, but something just, you know, it's it's a human voice and it kind of just grabs you. That's why I'm singing, I guess. it's uh, I'm very curious about the whole thing. Mm -hmm.
Make you see how 